back over here so somebody's scared to death now because they know I've studied on this for two weeks. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We might be here a long time. Amen. No, I'm kidding. Amen. Proverbs chapter number one this morning. I want to give you a thought that uh, God gave me and uh, uh, really is, is just uh, uh, revealed to me through the scripture. Amen. Proverbs chapter one. When you get turned there, I ask you to stand this morning and out of reverence of God's word and We'll begin reading in verse number 24 of Proverbs chapter number 1. Verse number 24. It says, Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. And I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When the stress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon you, uh, call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to stand this morning. We thank you for uh, showing us this in the scripture. We pray that we had presented it the way you presented it to us, dear Lord. We pray that you just have your people this morning. We thank you for the opportunity to be in your house and just to serve you for just one more time, dear Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. I want to take my thought of verse 24 there, and I want to look at all these verses so keep your Bible open. But uh, I'll, in verse 24, he said, Because I have called. Amen. Can I tell you this morning, you're either, you're either saved or lost. Amen. There ain't no in-between. There ain't no uh, in-progression of getting saved. Amen. Amen. Uh, these... Uh, modern day religions have changed it and said that you progress through salvation, amen. You don't progress through salvation, amen, amen. You get, you get saved or you're lost, amen. Bottom line, amen, there is no in-between, amen. I, I want to ask some of those, amen, uh, if you're in the progression, how do you know if you're going to heaven or hell, amen. Amen, I'm thankful this morning, I know I'm going to heaven. Amen. I don't have to doubt that this morning. So let me tell you, you're either saved or lost, and you're also either going to heaven or to hell. Amen. amen. When you leave this world, amen, you're not going to a holding period. Amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. The Bible does not teach that. Amen. You're either, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. Amen. You're either going to heaven or hell. If you're saved, when you die, you're with God. Amen. Bar nothing. Amen. You're with God. Amen. When you, when you die. Amen. If you're lost. Amen. The Bible said uh, when that rich man died. Amen. It said in hell he lifted up his eyes. Amen. When you're lost you die and go to hell. Amen. You go to hell. Friend I, I want you to know uh, this morning. Amen. You're either saved or lost. Amen. And you're, you're either on your way to heaven or you're on your way to hell. Bottom line. E either this morning Christ is your master or he's not. Amen. amen. He's either your master this morning or he's not your master. Amen. Bottom line, amen. Amen. There's no in between. A lot of people are trying to live in between. He's my master on Sundays and Wednesdays, but praise God, he ain't on during the week. Amen. What they'll say. Amen. Amen. He's either your master or he's not. Amen. This morning, amen, I want you to listen to me now. This is serious business this morning, amen. Amen. There's no uh, a gray area, amen. I'll get to where I'm going in a minute, amen. This is important, amen. Amen. There's no gray area. You're either saved or lost, amen. You're either going to heaven or hell, and Jesus is either your master or he's not your master. Amen. The bottom line this morning. Amen. Nothing can, uh, can change those two facts, amen. And that, 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 that takes away everything else. You know that? That takes away everything else. That takes away your skin color. That takes away, amen, amen, uh, your age. Amen. amen. That takes away, uh, friend, that, that takes away how much money you got in the bank. Amen. 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 Those things, they don't matter. Amen. At the end of the day, what's going to matter is whether you're saved or lost, whether you're going to heaven or hell, and whether Christ is your master or not. 
Let me tell you this morning, if you're saved, you're on your way to heaven and Christ is your master. Amen? Amen? If you're lost this morning, you're on your way to hell and Christ is not your master. Amen. We, we preached a while back over there. We've been studying in Galatians. Amen. I believe it was chapter number four. Amen. Paul speaks about being a child of God. Amen. You know, a lot of people, I've seen it this week. I've seen somebody saying it. Amen. They'll say, we're all God's children. No, we're not. That's not Bible, friend. Amen. That sounds good. That sounds nice. But it ain't Bible. Amen. Amen. To be a child of God, you have to be saved. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to preach on this thought this morning. Amen. He said, because I have called. Friend, you can't get saved until God calls you. Amen. You cannot get saved until God calls you to salvation. Amen. Salvation. I, I'm thankful this morning. Amen. Amen. You're going to say, preacher, why are you thankful for this? I'm thankful that salvation is not on my terms. Amen. 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 I'm thankful I can't save me. Amen. Amen. And you can't save you. And I'm, let me tell you this. And the preacher can't save you. Amen. The preacher can't save you. Amen. The song leader, the deacon. Amen. The trustee. They can't save you, friend. Amen. Only God can save you this morning. Amen. Let's go ahead and establish that. Amen. Amen. Uh, repeating a prayer after me won't do a bit of good for you. Amen. Amen. I could have everybody raise their hand and say, you want to be saved? And then I say, well, here you are. You're saved. That ain't going to change you a bit. Amen. There ain't going to be nothing happen there, amen. That's how these places get these numbers. They'll say, well, preacher, we had 50 saved on Sunday. How many of them actually went to the altar? Amen. How many of them actually had a, a change in their life, amen? That's what I want. Friend, let me tell you, salvation will change you. Amen, amen. it will change you, amen. But, but the Bible says here, it says, because... I have called. Let me tell you this. As a six-year-old boy, I got saved. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you, that was when God called me. Amen. Not called me to preach. He knew I was going to be a preacher. Didn't surprise him. I didn't know that at six years old. Amen. I didn't know I'd be pastor in a church. I didn't know this church existed. And when I was six years old, it didn't. Amen. Amen. But let me tell you, friend. Amen. These things, I didn't know. Amen. But God called me to salvation. Let me tell you this, and this is going to surprise some of y'all, but at the end of the day, amen, amen, uh, my preaching, amen, just because I'm a preacher doesn't change a thing about me. Amen. Doesn't change a thing about me. At the end of the day, God's not going to ask how many sermons I preached. He's going to look for that blood applied. Amen. On whether I'm saved or lost, amen. He ain't going to look for your friend. I, I know uh, the Bible says uh, we're going to be judged for our uh, good deeds and those things. I, I know that, friend, but that's not judging on whether or not you get into heaven, friend. Amen. Whether or not you get into heaven is not going to be based on your good deeds. It's not going to be based on your position in the church. Amen. Not going to be based on how much money you've given to so and so and so and so. Amen. It's going to be based on whether or not you are saved or lost. Amen. Amen. So I want to preach on this thought this morning. Amen. And, I, and you pray for me and I'll, I'll try to preach quick. Amen. On the call you cannot afford to miss. Amen. There's a call you cannot afford to miss. Amen. I've said this many a time before. You've heard me uh, say it. And when I've testified, I, I believe you say, Preacher, you was only six years old when you got saved. But to me, God was telling me that was my time. Amen. To me, God was telling me that was it. Amen. I never want to forget that. Amen. That time when he saved me. I never want to forget the feeling of thinking that was it. Amen. Of being scared to death to die and go to hell. Amen. Amen. Because let me tell you, friend. Amen. When God gets a hold of you and God opens your eyes. Amen. You'll get scared to death to die and going to hell if you're lost. Amen. Amen. I believe that. Amen. I believe a lot of these. Amen. That say, uh, well, well I'm, I'm living fine and, and I'm fine uh, being lost. Amen. They don't realize what they're saying. Amen. God ain't got a hold of them just yet. Amen. I believe when they get serious with this, uh, they might be putting on the front. Amen. Let me just say it like that. Amen. When they pillow their head at night knowing they're going to die and go to hell, amen, amen, Satan has got them fooled, amen, and they're thinking it's okay, amen, but when it's just them, amen, I tell you, friend, amen, I don't know how they have peace, amen, amen. you cannot have peace on your way to hell, amen, let me tell you that, amen, but I want to preach a little bit about this call, amen, the call. The call that God will make if you're lost this morning, amen, and God's dealing with you, that is the call. 
Let me tell you that much. That is the call. Amen. If you'll say, say preacher, I'm saved. Amen. And, and, and preacher, you ought not preach on salvation. Right? We're all saved. Amen. Well, praise God if you are. Amen. Reminisce on that call for a little while this morning. Amen. Praise God that he give you that call. Amen. Praise God that he died on the cross for you. Amen. And that you don't have to go to a devil's hell. Amen. Just by way of introduction, I want to tell you some things about this call. Number one, this call is from a very important party. You know that? You ever get a phone call and uh, uh, you look at it and, and, and it's one of them scam numbers and you say, Phew, I ain't talking to them. Amen. We all been there, ain't we? 1-800-something. You're thinking, nope. <laughs> they ain't getting me today. They'll call me from Knoxville now. I don't even know how they do that. Amen. Amen. But, but, but friend, we look at it and we'll say, oh, no, that ain't it. But friend, when mama calls, when my mama calls me, I got to answer the phone. And if I don't, I'm going to have seven missed calls. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But, but let me tell you, friend. Amen. Say, preacher, what are you trying to say? It's a little bit different when it's somebody important calling you. Amen. Can I tell you this, friend? The call to salvation is a call from the most important person on the face of the planet. Amen. 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 The Bible says, amen, over in Revelation chapter number 3 and verse number 20, he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man... Uh, well, let me, let me just turn over there and read it just right to you. I don't want to I don't want to uh, flub it up here. Let me read it to you. Amen. It says in Revelation chapter 3, verse number 20, it says, uh, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Amen. 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 Friend, I want you to know Amen. When it's God knocking, when it's God calling, amen, you better get serious about it. Amen. Amen. This call is from an important person. Amen. The Bible says over there in Revelation, right before that, amen, in chapter number one, that he's the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. The beginning and the end. Amen. You know what that means? That means before this world was in existence, God was. Amen. Amen. Before this building was here, before these pews were here, before you and I were here, God was here. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And let me tell you this. Long, long time from now, amen. When we're out of here, amen. When this building fades away, because guess what? These materials, they're going to fade, amen. Amen. These things are going to go away. These pews, they might take it and turn it into a skating rink after we're out of here, friend, amen. But whatever happens with it, God's still going to be. Amen. God's still going to be. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you this morning, friend, amen. He's the only person you can say that about. Amen. Did you catch that? He's the only person. You can say that about. You can say, well, preacher, I'm awful powerful. You're nothing compared to God. Amen. Amen. You're nothing compared to God. The biggest preacher on the face of the planet, let me tell you, the most powerful preacher on the face of the planet is nothing compared to God. Amen. It's nothing compared to God. Amen. The richest guy on the face of the planet, amen, is nothing compared to God. Amen. 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 Let me tell you, friend, this morning, amen, this call is from an important party. Not only that, this call is a personal call. It's a personal call. Amen. It ain't, it ain't, it, it's not one of those where you answer and they say, whoops, I got the wrong number. You ever done that? You ever answer and say, whoops, I got the wrong number? Sometimes I want to talk to them. <laughs> they say, you sure? <laughs> let's, let's talk for a minute. Amen. Amen. But, but it's not one of those. This is a personal call. There's no mistake this morning. When God, when God presented it to me, it was for me. Amen. When it was, when, when uh, on April, it was April 21st, 2000. I can, rem I can remember the day. That was for me. That was for me. Did everybody in the world get saved that day? No. But I did. But I did. Because that, that call was for me, amen. Make no mistake this morning, amen. If God's dealing with you, it's for you. Amen. A lot of times in churches, amen, it's quiet in here this morning. Amen. Y'all ought to be happy. Amen. If you saved, amen. Some of y'all need to get saved. Amen. Get right. Amen. Get happy. Amen. But let me tell you, friend, we've got a lot in churches today. Amen. Amen. The preacher gives an invitation. Amen. God's dealing with your heart and we'll say that's for somebody else. How in the world do you get that? Amen. Amen. We'll say, God, I know you come straight to me and you're dealing straight with me, but I think that's for sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so. 
Amen. amen. That ain't how that works. Amen. If God's dealing with you, that's between you and Him. Amen. And you need to do what He tells you to do. Amen. Amen. That goes for the saved and the lost. Amen. If he's, if you're lost, amen, He's dealing with you for about salvation. Amen. If you're saved, amen, He's dealing with you to get something right. Amen. Maybe He's dealing with you to come pray for somebody that's lost. Amen. Friend, I want you to know, if God deals with you, you better move. Amen. I, I've, I've, I've said this before, amen. If God's dealing with you and I'm in the way, move me out of the way. Amen. 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 You don't got to wait till I'm done preaching. Amen. I, I'm thankful. Amen. That's happened several times at this church. You know that? I was thinking the other day, I've been here almost a whole year as an official, as a pastor. Amen. Amen. I've been here longer than that, filling in and everything. But, but, but I was thinking, man, we've had some services where I've been preaching and they've hit the altar before. I got them preaching. Amen. I wish we'd have more of them. Yeah. Amen. Don't you? Amen. Amen. Friend, I, I want you to know. Amen. Think of Zacchaeus this morning. You remember Zacchaeus over there in Luke chapter 19? Amen. He was up in the tree. Amen. He was up there to see Jesus. But what did Jesus do? He walked by and looked up to him. Amen. You know, that's me and you. Did you catch that this morning? That's me and you. He looked up and points. He pointed Zacchaeus out. He said, get down from there. Amen. He pointed, Zacchaeus was up there. You know what Zacchaeus was up there for? Not only because he was short, because he was up there because he didn't want anybody to see him. He's up there hiding. He just wanted to see Jesus walk by. Amen. amen. Let me tell you this morning, lost person, amen, you might think you're skating by. Amen. You might think nobody cares about you. Nobody sees you. But Jesus is coming by and saying, hey, it's your time now. It's time for you to get down from there. Amen. And get saved. Amen. Amen. Friend, I want you to know Zacchaeus was a ruler. He had it all. Amen. But he had nothing until Christ came by and pointed him out of that tree. Amen. Friend, I, I, let me tell you this morning, amen, this call, it's a personal call. There wasn't no mistaking when, when Je- I was thinking about that. When Jesus walked by, you, don't, you, you know, the rest of them that was with him, amen? Amen, it don't really say, amen, but when he pointed out Zacchaeus, they didn't, I don't think they looked at one another and said, Is it, was he talking to us? Did you catch that? I don't think they looked at one another and said, maybe, maybe that was for us. No, he pointed him out. Amen, amen. Let me tell you, God don't make mistakes this morning. Amen. God does not make mistakes. Amen. Amen. Notice this. Amen. I get to where I'm going in a minute. Amen. Let me tell you this. The call is one that cannot be sent to voicemail. Amen. Can't take a message. Amen. Amen. Praise God this morning. Let me tell you this. Amen. Let me tell you this. And then I'll get into my message. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, Lord have mercy. We're going to be here all day. Amen. Amen. But let me tell you this, friend. Let me tell you this. Amen. Amen. God is not obligated to deal with you and give you chances and chances and chances. He's long-suffering. He does do that. Amen. Amen. But friend, amen, God's not obligated to come back and deal with you again. Amen. Amen. If God gives you opportunity to get saved, you better get saved. Bottom line, bar nothing this morning. Amen. You better quit worrying about everybody else, and if God's dealing with you to get saved, amen, you better get saved. Because it could be your last opportunity. You can't put it off. Amen. A lot of people, amen. Amen. I got a buddy of mine, amen. Amen. That calls me from down in Cookville every now and then. Love him to death. Amen. He'll call me. He calls me always while I'm at work. Always. And he'll, he'll talk for an hour. Amen. Amen. But he'll call me while I'm at work. And, and he'll go to voicemail. And I'll see it. And I say, ah, there's old Arley again calling me. That's his name, Arley. And, <laughs> and boy, it, it, weeks will go by. Because what have I done? I put it off calling him back. I listened to that voicemail and heard him. And then I, I got to call Arley back. And weeks ago, by weeks ago, you can't do that with God. Amen. Can I tell you that? You can't do that with God this morning. Amen. You can't say, well, I'll get there one day. I'll get there one day. Friend, today's the day of salvation is what the Bible says. Amen. Amen. I'm about tired. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you this. Some of us Christians, amen, say people ought to get tired of hearing, I'm going to do it one day. Amen. I'm going to do it one day. One day. You're not promised tomorrow, friend. Amen. Amen. Friend, I want you to know, amen. Amen. God does not promise you a thing. Amen. Amen. On, on, the, on life tomorrow. Amen. He promises that he'll take care of us. Amen. Amen. If you're saved, amen, but if you're lost, he doesn't have to give you another chance. He doesn't have to give you another chance, amen. Many people have, have said, I'll wait till I'm older. And they never got older. Yeah. I have people I graduated high school with that's passed away. My age. I mean, y'all tell me all the time I'm young. Amen. 
for these young people that are dead in graves right now. Amen. And I hope that they got saved. I hope that they, that, they, that they met Christ, amen, somewhere along the way, amen, amen. But let me tell you, friend, there's many, amen. I remember one, he told me, he'd tell me, that I'll, I'll get down there, I'll get down there, I'll get down there. Well, I live, I live like a Christian sometimes. It wasn't too many years, probably been three years ago now, overdosed on drugs and died. You ain't promised tomorrow. You ain't promised. It, I, it, it, I don't know what's going on this morning. It's quiet in here. Amen. It's kind of scaring me. Amen. Amen. But I want you. About, but if that's if that's the case, Amen. You just listen real good. Amen. You listen to this real good. Amen. 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 Don't put God off. Amen. Don't put God off. Now let me tell you this. Let me get to my message now. Amen. Is that okay? Amen. 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 Now this call, amen, I told you it's a call you can't afford to miss, the call of salvation. Amen. But I want to tell you what will happen if you don't answer the call. Using these verses right here in Proverbs chapter number 1. Amen. Use these verses right here. Look, look what it says in verse number 26. It said, I also will laugh at your calamity. When your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish come upon you. Amen. Friend, can I tell you this? Rejecting God this morning will bring disastrous results to your life. Amen. It will hurt you this morning to reject. Leave the camera alone, Samuel. It will hurt you this morning, amen, to reject God. Amen. It will hurt you. Amen. It will, it will not benefit you a bit to reject God. Amen. It will hurt you now and it will hurt you later. Amen. 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 The Bible says, notice this. Amen. Notice what it said there. It said, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. It doesn't say if your fear comes, amen. Friend, let me tell you this morning, amen. I've said it six services in a row, amen. Amen. You're going to need God. Amen. amen. Whether you realize it or not this morning, you're going to need God this morning, amen. You're going to need God, amen, tomorrow, amen. If this thing goes on 20 years from now, you're going to still need God. Amen. There's been testimonies all over the house this morning about how good God's been. Amen. How we wouldn't have got through things if it wasn't for God. Amen. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, amen. Amen. You're going to need Him. It said, I also will laugh at your calamity. Amen. Amen. Calamity, that word calamity means disaster. Basically, amen. Amen. Friend, amen. I, 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 I tell you, amen. Disaster is going to come. Amen. Hard times are going to come, friend. Amen. Amen. It said, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish cometh upon you. How many in here this morning be honest say you've had distress and anguish come upon you? That ought to be all of us. Amen. Let me just go ahead and save you the, 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 the uh, arm motion. Amen. That's all of us. Amen. Amen. The Bible said over there. Amen. You read over in Luke chapter number 6, verse 47, 48, and 49. There's over there, there's a man that built his house on the rock. Amen. And in short, there's another man. Amen. That built his house on the sand. Amen. And what happened? Amen. Friend, I want you to know that first man was a saved man. That second man is the picture of a lost man. Amen. And friend, let me tell you, the floods come Amen. to both of them. The floods come. Let me tell you this morning, amen. Brother Eddie was all over in Sunday school. It's not a bed of roses. Amen. It, God is not obligated to give us. Uh, uh, friend, God has blessed us so much. Amen. By, by, by dying on the cross of Calvary, if he did nothing else for us, he'd done enough. Amen. He's done enough already, amen. He don't have to do a thing. He didn't have to give you breath to wake up this morning. Amen. God has already done enough. Amen. But friend, let me tell you, amen. The rain, that flood, it come, it came on the just and it came on the unjust. Amen. Amen, friend. But you'll find over there, you read that sometime, amen. You look over there, you'll find the one that was saved. That house was still standing. Amen. Amen. They got through it. Amen. The one that was lost, the house fell. Friend, you're going to need God this morning. You're going to need God. Amen. When a lost loved one, or, 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 or not, excuse me, when a, when a loved one passes away, you're going to need God. Amen. You're going to need God in those times. I've lost some loved ones that are dear to me. It broke my heart. 
Those that don't have God, I don't know how they could get through it. I don't know how they could do it, Fred. Amen. There's times in my life, amen, let me tell you this, amen, there's going to be times that's coming, going to come in your life where you don't have the answer. Do you know that? There's going to be times that come when you don't have the answer. You're going to need God. You're going to need Him. Amen. You're going to need Him friend, in every aspect of your life. Amen. Amen. Friend, destruction, calamity, these things, disaster, they're going to happen in your life. We, we've got uh, prosperity preachers preaching that everything's going to be all right. You get saved and you just and everything's just going to fall right into place. That ain't how it works. That ain't how it works. Friend, I want you know over there, when Lazarus died, he died. Amen. Did you get that? Lazarus died. You remember that story? Amen. Amen. It didn't, everything just didn't fall right into place for Mary and Martha over there. Amen. But praise God. God knew what he was doing. Amen. What happened? They needed God. Amen, amen, and God showed up, amen. Friend, I want you to know, amen, this morning, not answering that call to salvation, amen, it'll bring disastrous results to your life. It's going to hurt. Let me say it like that, amen. Look at verse 28. It says, Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Boy, it's, it might be the scariest verse in all of Proverbs. Amen. And it said, But they will call upon me. It shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Amen. Boy, we got we take things for granted. We take prayer for granted. We take it, we call upon God and He will answer us. Amen. We know that. Amen. Amen. But friend, let me it says there's going to come a time. It says, They shall call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Amen. It says, For they that for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Friends, say, preacher, what are you trying to say? Not answering that call to salvation is going to leave you all alone. Amen. It's going to leave you all alone. Amen. So they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. Boy, that'll hit you right upside the head. Amen. Amen. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. The Bible says over in uh, Isaiah 55, uh, verse number 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Amen. Friend, that tells me that there's going to be a time when he's not going to be near. Amen. There's going to be a time this thing's going to run out. Amen. Amen. It's kind of like those folks that uh, go Black Friday shopping. You know why they get there early? Because there's a limited quantity. They want to get it before time runs out, before somebody else gets there. Amen. Friend, can I tell you this? Amen. You, 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 you lost person, amen, that's saying, oh, I'll just put it off to later. I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll get saved later. Amen. Time might just run out for you. There might not be a later. Amen. Amen. This is a scary thought. Amen. A lot of lost people think, well, I can just, I'll call upon God when I'm ready and He'll answer. Amen. This says right here, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Boy, I don't know what I'd do with you. Amen. Friend, you, uh, let me tell you, uh, not answering the call to salvation, it's going to leave you all alone. Amen. It'll leave you, amen, as the Bible says over there in Ephesians chapter 2, it says, but you had the quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. If you're lost this morning, you're still dead in trespasses and sins. Amen. You're still stuck there. Amen. You're not out of that. Amen. Amen. You're going to be judged according to your sins. Amen. And let me tell you, friend, amen, uh, the wages of sin is death is what the Bible says. Amen. So if you've got to be judged according to your sins, I can already tell you how that's going to end. That's going to end in a devil's hell. Amen. 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 Friend, this morning, amen, I'm thankful, amen, that I don't have to be judged according to my sins. Amen. 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 I don't have to, the, the sins covered by the blood. When he saved me, he forgave me of sins I had committed. I was a six-year-old boy. I had, let me tell you, I've done a lot more sinning since I got saved than before. I'll just be right up, down right honest with you this morning, amen. But he forgave me of those sins too. He established that covenant with me. Amen. Established that covenant all the way. To, if God lets me live to see a hundred, friend, he's, he's already forgiven those sins. He's already forgiven those things. I'm not going to be perfect. I can go ahead and tell you that. Amen. I'll be in front of the line. You ain't either. Amen. amen. You ain't either. Amen. Amen. Friend, God's already forgiven. But let me tell you, friend, if you're lost, amen, perfection's your only hope outside of salvation. And you ain't perfect. So your only hope is salvation. 
Amen. Amen. That's your only hope this morning. Amen. It'll leave you all alone. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. Say, preacher, well, I've got people in my life that'll help me. I've, I've got a good parents and I've got good family. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. I got a good family. I got good friends. Amen. But there's a time, there's going to come a time when mom and daddy can't answer the question. Amen. There's going to come a time when your friends can't answer the question. Your husband and your wife ain't going to be able to answer the questions. Amen. Your, your, your children ain't going to be able to answer the questions. Amen. The only one that's going to be able to help is going to be God. Amen. And I'd hate to call upon him and him not answer. Amen. The only help. It's kind of like, it's kind of like this. Kind of like this. You get sick. You get everybody in here has gotten sick at some point. You get sick, and the doctor says this pill will get you fixed in ten days. Take this pill, and in ten days you'll be good. We're jumping on it. Ain't a single one of us says no. We, we, we'll take that pill, and in ten days, if we ain't, if we ain't fixed, we're gonna call that doctor and say, "Hey, you told me this pill fixed me in ten days." Amen. Amen. But friend, amen. Say, preacher, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say this. Amen. Amen. It'd be something different if that doctor said this pill right here. Well, you'll be fixed in 10 days. But I'm just going to break it, and you can't have it. And it's, it's out of production, and there's no hope for you. You imagine going to the doctor over science infection, cold, flu, something like that, and he's, he gives you, he he's has that pill there, and he says, it's the last one. There it is. Gone. You're going to die off of a cold. He says, that's it. That's it. Amen. Some of y'all are looking at me funny. Amen. Amen. But let me tell you, that's the way salvation is going to be. Amen. It's freely available right now. Amen. Amen. It's, a, it, it's the cure to your problem this morning. Amen. I promise you that. Amen. Amen. But one day, amen, amen, when God comes back and takes His church out of here, salvation by grace through faith is not going to be an opportunity. Amen. And don't go telling me you're going to make it through the tribulation because you ain't. Amen. Amen. You read the Bible. They're going, the, 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 the big and wise and the ruler people, amen, they're going to ask for the mountains to fall on them. Amen. Where does that leave you and I? Amen. We ain't going to be surviving through that. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to be out of here. Amen. Amen. If you're saved, you're going to be out of here. If you're lost, you'll be left behind in it. Amen. And that salvation by grace through faith. Amen. That, that cure uh, to your sickness. Amen. Is gone forever. It's gone forever, friend. Amen. Oh, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to face that. Amen. Amen. I wouldn't want to face that. Look at this. Look at verse thirty. It said, "They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, and said, and be filled with their own devices." Can I tell you this morning? Not answering this call of salvation, it'll give you exactly what you deserve. It'll give you. Exactly what you deserve. Can I tell you this morning? We don't deserve to be breathing. Amen. That's the, the simplest thing. Amen. Hey, breath is taken away. We're, we're done. Amen. Amen. We don't deserve to be breathing this morning. Amen. We, let me tell you. We, 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 we certainly don't deserve, amen, to be. I don't deserve to be standing in front of you. Amen. I don't deserve to be preaching. I don't deserve uh, to, uh, to have a bed to lay down on at night. Amen. I don't deserve those things. Amen. I've done nothing to get those things. Amen. Amen. Uh, say, preacher, well, you got a job. You can pay for this. And you can pay for that. Yeah, but I don't deserve to have a job. Amen. It's God that's provided. It's God that's provided. Everything you go all the way back. Well, say, preacher, you got that job because you went to college. I didn't deserve to go to college. Amen. And say, preacher, you went to college because your parents paid for it. Amen. Amen. And I've got student loans up to my neck. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But let me tell you, friend, I didn't deserve those parents. Amen. I didn't deserve all the way down the line. These things, everything can be traced right back to God. This morning, the shoes you got on your feet, you better trace them back to God. The car you pulled up in this morning, amen, you don't deserve it, amen. Trace it right back to God, amen, amen. Let me tell you this morning, friend, those that are lost, those that die without Christ, let me tell you this, amen, amen, they're going to get exactly what they deserve. Amen. Exactly what they deserve. Amen, you'll get what you deserve. They said, therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way. You know what the only fruit, amen, that, that sin and, and those things in your life is going to produce is going to produce death. Amen. Your own way, your own fleshly way, amen, is going to produce death. 
Amen. That's all it produces. Amen. Friend, you'll get what you deserve. Amen. Let me tell you this morning, you don't deserve grace. You don't deserve grace. You die without Christ this morning. You reject Christ this morning. Amen. And you'll get what you deserve, and that ain't grace. Amen. And grace is gone, friend. Amen. That grace will be gone. Amen. Amen. You reject Christ, and you'll, you'll be without mercy. You'll be without mercy. Amen. You reject Christ, you'll be without protection. Amen. Without protection. Amen. Amen. Vulnerable to, to anything that Satan throws your way. Amen. You ain't got nothing to stand on. Amen. What do we talk about with that? Over in Luke chapter number 6, that guy that built his house on the sinking sand. When the floods come, his house went down. Amen. Friend, I want you to know, amen, you'll be without victory. You don't deserve the victory this morning. We sang that song, Victory in Jesus. We sang when we all get to heaven, and we should shout the victory up there. Amen. Friend, I, I want you to know, amen, we don't deserve that. We don't deserve any, any, any of these things we've got. We deserve to be in hell with our neck broke this morning. Amen. Amen. I deserve it, and you deserve it. Amen. Amen. Say, preacher, I don't like that kind of preaching. Amen. Well, go to the avenue, bless God. Amen. Amen. I want you to know, friend, amen. Amen. You deserve hell this morning. Amen. You don't deserve a thing in your life. Amen. But God has blessed so much. Amen. God has blessed. Amen. God has allowed us to get up today. God has allowed us to uh, preach a little while. Amen. God's a, and let me tell you, God's prepared a place for me. Amen. For me. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Amen. You put yourself in there. Amen. God has done that for me. Amen. He's given me what I don't deserve. Amen. He gives me grace every day, mercy every day, protection every day. You know, there's things, amen, that I would go through uh, that, 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 that God has allowed me just to just at times in my life to look back and see that I, that I missed. Amen. That I missed, that I thought was the right path. And I got on the other side and went, I, I, by the grace of God, God allowed me to go His way through it, amen. And I got on the other side and looked back at my path and realized God let me miss a lot of things. Praise God I've missed out on a lot of things. Can I tell you this? Let me tell you this. Young person, you listen to me. Amen, I've been told my whole life I've been missing out. In college, everything. Oh, you ain't going to the parties. You're missing out. I praise God I've missed out. Amen. Amen. Praise God I've missed out. Amen. Praise God I've, 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 I've had friends that died drunk. Amen. On the side of the road. Amen. Praise God I missed out. Amen. Praise God I missed out on those things. Amen. Amen. Friend, let me tell you, this morning, giving your life to Christ, you ain't going to miss a thing this morning. Amen. Those that, those that got saved later on in life, you know what I always hear? They'll say, I wish I'd gotten saved earlier. Amen. Amen. I wish I'd done it earlier. Amen. Amen. Friend, I want you to know I've never heard anybody say they regret living for Christ. I ain't heard that, friend. Amen. You ain't going to hear that. Amen. Let me tell you, friend. Amen. If you don't answer, you'll get what you deserve. Last but not least, look at verse 32. It says, For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. It says, But whoso hearkens unto me shall dwell safely, shall be quiet from fear of evil. Say, preacher, what, what are you trying to say? Well, let me tell you this. It says the prosperity of fools. Prosperity is what you gain, right? Prosperity is, is what you've got. You, we, it, we, if somebody has done well at something, they say they prosper, right? Amen, amen. Let me tell you, the prosperity of fools, the prosperity of a lost person this morning is hell. Amen. It's hell. Amen. You can get mad at me if you want, but if you're lost this morning... Hell's what you've got to look forward to. Amen. Hell is all you've got to look forward to. You hear me this morning, amen? Them people on the camera, they might be somebody watching this that's lost. If, if you're lost, hell's what you've got to look forward to. Amen. Hell. Nothing else. There ain't no party in hell. That old lead singer, ACDC, what was his name? Bon Scott. He said when he died, he, was going, he, 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 he sung that song, Highway to Hell. Amen. Said he was going down there to party with his friends. Boy, I bet, I bet if you could just talk to him, he'd be like that rich man. Saying, hey, tell him to break up the band. Tell him to go in there and break up the band and go to the nearest church and run in there and beg God to save them. 
Amen. Amen. That rich man, when he died, he said, I got family. I tell Lazarus to go and get them. Tell them let, if one come from the dead, surely the goodness they'd listen to him. Amen. Amen. But you know what? They said to him, they said, well, he's got Moses and the prophets. Amen. You know what that means? They got the same thing. Amen. Right here. Amen. Ain't nobody from the dead coming back to talk to you. Amen. You're foolish. Amen. If you think that. Amen. You watch too many scary movies. Praise God. Amen. There ain't nobody coming back to the dead to talk to you, friend. Amen. Right here is the word of God. Amen. This is enough. Amen. Amen. To, it was enough to save me as a six-year-old boy. Amen. It's enough to save you no matter how old you are, no matter who you are, friend. Amen. But let me tell you, turning God away will reserve your spot in hell. Amen. It'll reserve your seat, friend. Amen. The one place you don't want a reservation, you'll get it. You'll get it, friend. Amen. It said, the turning away of the simple shall slay them. Amen. Amen. You know who the simple are? Me and you. We're the simple. We're the simple. Amen. We, we, you, might have, you might have 100 degrees. You're still just simple. Amen. The Bible says over there in, a, uh, I believe it's a... Second Corinthians chapter number four, if I'm thinking right, Amen. It says that we have this excellency of treasure in in earthen vessels. I, I had a preacher explain that to me one time, boy, and I was ready. He said, "You ready to get this?" I said, "Boy, I'm ready." I thought he's going to open my mind and just blow me away. He said, "That means you're dirt." <laughs> he said, "It means you're dirt. That means I'm dirt. At the end of the day, we're just dirt. Anything that God gives us, He just giving the dirt. That's all we are." No matter how much you accomplish, no matter how much you achieve, at the end of the day, you're just dirt. You're just dirt. That's all God needed to make you anyways was dirt. Amen. Dirt. Amen. You're just dirt this morning. Amen. Say, preacher, thank goodness you're not a motivational speaker. Amen. Amen. But I want you to know, friend, amen, you're just dirt this morning. You're nothing. Amen. You're, 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 you're absolutely nothing. And it says, so we're, we're the simple. It said the turning away of the simple shall slay them. I, 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 there's, many, there's many scholars, probably a lot smarter than I, that'll dissect that out and say, well, it means this, it means that. I'm just going to tell you the way I read it. The turning away. That means saying no. That means saying no. You can say no to me all day long. But when it comes to God... Let me tell you, friend, amen, the call to salvation, amen. Miss Carolyn, come on to the piano this morning. The call to salvation, I want to say, preacher, everybody's saved, amen. Well, everybody not not be saved. You don't know that, amen. The only person salvation I truly know about is mine this morning. You know that? And you're the, you're the only one you know about, amen. Amen, you know whether or not you're saved. But let me tell you this, the call of salvation is one that you cannot afford to miss. You can't miss this call, friend. Amen. There will be destruction in your life. Amen. Don't go through life without Christ. You'll fail. You'll fail. Everyone stand this morning as they begin to play. If you have a need, I ask you to come. If you've never been saved, today is the day of salvation. Not next Sunday, not whenever. Today's the day. Right now. At this moment, friend. Whatever your need is, I ask you to come.